so hey everyone let's uh start this problem this problem is rated thousand um so my was a question but i like uh i'll explain it to you once like what this question means like i'll be explaining you to in a brief like yeah, it, like what this question wants you to do and then we'll be coding this question i've not already coded this so yeah i'll be coding it live anyways so i'll be just so i won't read the problem i you all can read the problem if you want let's just directly uh start like what this means like you're only yeah you're only given four variables a b x y so so we are given four uh variables a b x and y so the condition is you have to select w so suppose there are two variables w and h okay so the condition is w should be less than or equal to a and h should be less than or equal to b and the ratio of w by h should be equals to x by y and for so if this is the case so suppose for example uh, i am so i told that x is 1 uh, y is 3 and let's just say a is 1000 okay a is 1000 and b is also 1000 so how many uh, uh, distinct pairs of w and h do you have so uh one pair is w is equals to one h equals to three because w is less than equal to a h is less than equal to b and w by h so this is the condition okay and w by h is equals to x by y uh, another pair is w can be two and h can be six so if w is two and h and six again this condition is satisfied similarly you have many more uh you have w3 uh h9 so like this you can make many distinct pairs so the question says that you are given a you are given by b you are given x and you are given y uh you have to find the number of distinct pairs of w and h uh like you have to basically return what is w and h like how many pairs are possible for w and h such that w is less than or equal to a or uh, h is less than or equal to b and this ratio is uh, satisfied so i hope you all caught what i'm what the question wants from you uh, so now let's see how we'll be solving this so there are two ways uh the most brute force ways you are given a you are given b right so you can just iterate from one to a and you can iterate from one to b assume that is w and assume that is h and check if w by h is equals to x by y but that you can't do that because the constraints if you see in the problem it's given like a comma b should be less than equal to uh, 118 i guess so that isn't possible you cannot just iterate so and let's just see uh, what's the corner case like where we'll be having uh, no solution at all so suppose if i say you that a is 8 and b is uh, let's just say b is 9 and i told you that uh, the ratio should be x11 and y12 this is not even possible because to get x to get the ratio of w by h equals to 11 by sorry uh, 11 by 12 you at least need like you can't even like a you have a very hard restriction right? that a and b like you cannot w cannot exceed a and h cannot exceed b so you can never get this so we'll put this as a first a uh, test condition so if this condition fails then we'll simply return zero because it doesn't make sense to do any computation then otherwise what we'll do so uh, what we can do is suppose you have uh, x as one uh, y as three right and uh, so suppose you have x as two and y as six so we do okay so just remember if x is 2 and y is 6 and if i take w by h equals to 1 by 3 then this is correct okay because then also x by w equals to w by h is satisfied if you convert this into the lowest form sorry lowest form it is still satisfied so if you see what we uh, just did here like if x is 2 and y is 6 why not convert this x and y to the lowest form possible so if x can be y if x can be 1 and y can be 3 then uh, it's better right because it's always better to convert it into the lowest form possible so the first thing we'll be doing is whatever x and y you are given suppose if x is a 4 and y is 16 we'll make x by y equals to now it is given 4 by 16 right we'll be making we, uh, we'll be making it 1 by 4 
so this will be this so why we are doing this so sub so you just uh, i just mentioned the corner condition right so suppose if you are given x by y is equals to 4 by 16 and you don't convert it into the uh, into lowest form and you have said that a ka value should be less than equal to uh, 2 and b ka value should be less than equal to 5 you just simply check ki nahi yaar ki a 4 se bad matlab a 4 tak ja bhi nahi pa raha and b 16 tak ja bhi nahi pa raha so let's just return 0 but in reality this is 1 by 4 so you always have to first reduce it into the lowest form possible so first thing that we have to do is convert it into lowest form possible I, I hope you all know that but still i'll show how to convert a fraction into the lowest form possible now after you have done that after you have done that so we made x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 4 and now this is the lowest form possible now when you have the lowest form of x by y the best thing you can do is keep multiplying that is 1 by 4 divide both of them by 2 2 by 8 Divide both of them by 3, 3 by 12. Divide both of them by 4, 4 by 16. So this sequence continues and this is the only way to get all the pairs such that they are equal to x by y. This is into 1, sorry, this is into 2, this is into 3, this is into 4 and similarly on to onto something. But where do we have to stop? So where do we have to stop right so suppose i'll just give you the final solution now now you got so now you got it how we have to count but again you can't multiply because 10 raised to 18 is a very big number so you can't just go that okay i will keep on multiplying until unless uh my a and b exceed you can't do that so then what do we have to do so you can simply run a case so first of uh, suppose for example uh, i'll show you over here only a uh, 4 by 16 and next we have 5 by 20 right so suppose my a is given it should be less than equal to uh, 6 and b is given it should uh, it should be less than equal to 21 one second i'll clear it okay i'll clear everything okay so the question is uh, x is this is the final uh, simulation of what we're going to do x is 14 y is 16 uh, a is 6 uh, b is 21 so again x by y first step convert into the uh, into lowest form so 4 by 16 what is the uh, largest common between them a uh, 4 so it will be so divide both of them by 4 so it becomes 1 by 4 now we have to keep multiplying so let's just see uh, where we are exceeding 6 by 21 okay so 1 by 4 again multiply by 2 2 by 8 multiplied by 3 3 by 12 4 by 16, uh, 5 by 20, 6 by 24 is not possible. Why, why do we have to stop here? Because 24 exceeds B. Got it, right? Because as soon as you saw that this 24 has exceeded B, now that means you have to stop. But we can't do this multiplication simulation because of the time limit. 10 raised to 18, so we have to again optimize it. So we can we have so now we have to check for how long i can run this for how long i can run this such that my condition is no my condition is not breaking so if you see i can just do that 4 into x this is 4 into 5 so this is 4 into 2 4 into 3 4 into 4 4 into 5 i need to find this 5 this 5 is crucial for me because that's the actual amount how many like how many uh denominators are possible right uh, Currently, I'm going for the denominators. So 4 into x uh, should be less than equal to what? 21. x should be less than equal to 21 by 4. So in so we'll obviously be getting the floor if we do it in uh, if we code it, we'll be getting the 4. So this is 5. So you got your exact number, like how many is possible? Like this. So this 5 is the stoppage for this similarly there will be a different stoppage for this so 1 into y okay 1 into y is less than equal to 6 currently i'm doing for the uh, uh, numerator this one was for denominator now the same thing for numerator so numerator the load the lowest form is 1 1 into y should be less than equal to 6 y should be less than equal to 6 so if you uh see here here they are saying that y ka value 6 the allowed here they see and here they are saying x ka value 5 tak allowed hai. and obviously we have to take the minimum of these two you have to take the minimum of these two and that will be your answer like how many are possible 
and if you use this method you don't have to take care of that corner condition because now i will tell you why you don't have to take care of the corner condition anymore i hope you understood the simulation so suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, x ka value is 17 y ka value is 21 a ka value bol raha hai 7 and b ka value bol raha hai 9 so again if i do the uh, denominator ke liye sorry numerator ke liye lete hain theek hai a ka value 7 tak allowed hai uh, so x aur y ka lowest term hoga kya 17 aur 21 ka kuch nahi hoga because the because the gcd is one right so x by y kya 17 by 21 isko main ek bar bhi matlab into 2 bhi karu na to bhi ye fail ho jayega kyunki पॉसिब मतलब इन टू वन क्योंकि ये भी गलत ही है सेवनटीन बाई ट्वेंटी वन इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल द लोएस्ट सबसे इन टू वन इज ओनली नॉट पॉसिबल इन टू टू तो इज दूर की बात सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज सिंपली जस्ट रन इट अगेन सो सेवनटीन इन टू सम रैंडम वैल्यू एम शुड भी लेस देन इक्वल टू सेवन एम इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सेवन बाई सेवनटीन दिस एंड देन दिस विल गिव यू जीरो सो खुद ही जीरो आंसर में आ गया जीरो से कम माइनस वन तो पॉसिबल नहीं ना जीरो आंसर में आ गया एनी वेज यूर डूंग द मिनिमम सो खुद ही जीरो आ गया सो देर फोर कॉर्नर केस ऑल्सो कैन रिमूव दी ओनली कोर पार्ट इज अगर ये सेवन होता तो इसे वन बाय थ्री करने का है नहीं तो फिर गलत आंसर आएगा सो आई होप यू ऑल गॉट इट एक बार लेट्स कोड दिस सो वी डोंट हैव एनी टेस्ट केसेस सो ए बी एक्स वाई you can skip this part if you want anyways i'll be adding the code in the description a b x y so uh, to convert into lowest form you basically have to do the gcd so gcd of both of them se tumhe usse like tumhe usko divide karna hai gcd jo aayega so underscore underscore gcd of x comma y so x is equals to gc by uh, sorry x is equals to x by gc Uh, y is equals to y by gc. अभी x और y जो है वो अपने लोएस्ट फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट हो चुके हैं सो so, वही होता है बेसिकली लॉजिक लाइक अगर फोर बाई सिक्सटीन भी है तो तुम फोर से क्यों डिवाइड कर रहे हो बिकॉज फोर इज द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दम राइट सो दैट्स द लॉजिक सिंपल लॉजिक नाउ नाउ अभी वो दो वेरिएबल चाहिए हमको जो मैंने आज तुमको दिखाया था ये ये जो m हमने निकाला था ना जो मतलब बेसिकली न्यूमरेट और डिनोमिनेटर का अलग से करना है तो पहले न्यूमरेटर का देखते हैं सो एल एल न्यूमरेटर चेक वी कैन राइट दिस सो क्या आएगा जो तुम्हारा इसे इसे मैं कैसे लिखूँगा अगर कोड वे में देखे तो मैंने एक्स और वाई रीड किया राइट सॉरी मैंने एक्स और वाई रीड किया है सो एक्स था मेरा जो अभी लोएस्ट फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट चुका है वो किसी एम से मल्टीप्लाई हो रहा है टू बी लेस देन इक्वल टू ए सो ये m कैसे मिलेगा वैसे मेरे को फ्लोर ही चाहिए राइट क्योंकि लेस देन इक्वल टू है सो m इज सिंपली इक्वल टू a बाई एक्स सिमिलरली y इन टू एन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू बी एन इज इक्वल टू बी बाई वाई सो ये दो वेरिएबल्स निकालते हैं m और n है तो मैं कोड में भी y रीनेम कर दूंगा ओके सो वी नीड दिस टू वेरिएबल्स m एन n सो so, m क्या था a बाई एक्स राइट सो एल एल एम इज इक्वल्स टू ए बाई एक्स एल एल एन इज इक्वल्स टू Uh, क्या लिखा था एल एल एन इज इक्वल टू बी बाई वाई इक्वल टू बी बाई वाई सिंपली सी आउट मिनिमम ऑफ एम कॉम एन टेस्ट केस यार लग कर गेटिंग थ्री जो भी एक रैंडम सिक्सटी थ्री करके कुछ प्रिंट हुआ है ओके लेट सबमिट दिस
Uh, this will pass anyways. Let's back. Let's just see the final verdict. Okay, so it passed. So I hope you got the logic. So simply the first step convert to the GCD, then Igba lowest form may convert ho gaya, then just simulate kitna chalne wala simulate math se tumko pata chal jayega ki kaha tak it can run inequality like. So yeah, that's it. Uh, kuch doubt ho to you can just ask me in the comments. Yeah. Thank you.